Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been forever and years since I filmed. I've been very busy with a lot of stuff, school, personal life. I haven't been uploading once a week. That's my goal when I started this channel, was just to upload at least once a week. And I was doing pretty good, and then I started grad school and it just kind of went downhill. So I decided that I wanted to do this chit chat, get ready with me fall tutorial. For like if you're interested, if you want to know what's been going on in my life or I don't know, I feel like it's just going to be really chit chatty random, so yeah. And I'm going to be creating a fall smoky eye using the Jaclyn Hill palette and the Desi times Katie times Dose of Colors eyeshadow. So let's just get started. So I'm going to start off with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pots and I'm just taking like a flat shader brush I'm just going to apply this. Usually I apply it. Sorry, that's my roommate's dog. So usually I apply this with my fingers, but since I'm wearing acrylics, it's really hard. So yeah, the struggle for four props. So I'm just apply this onto the eyelid. And with this, I kind of, I don't really carve out my eyebrows. I don't really care for that. I feel like it's an unnecessary step. So I do like to kind of clean up the bottom. So I just get my primer and I just kind of clean that. But I don't clean the top or anything like that. I just, I don't know. I feel like the less steps, the better. So now I'm just going to set my primer and I like to do this just because I feel like the, that paint pot, it can get patchy and streaky if you don't. So I just always go ahead and set it with some translucent powder or I use a cream eyeshadow. I don't know, it depends on like what's closer to me at that moment. I just go all around. And since I am creating a smoky, oh, why do I look so white? Hmm. I'm sorry about that. I'm not good with this lighting technology stuff and my camera's kind of messed up when I can't do, I can't like do manual settings which I need to get it checked out I'm only on automatic and I know if I did manual settings I could kind of fix that but it's kind of messed up so yeah so I feel like since I started my YouTube channel I never I haven't been very like personal I'm just kind of like hey guys let's create this smoky shadow or let's create this half cut crease so some of you are like who is this girl right so I just decided that today's video was gonna be a little more chit chat and you can get to know me if you you're into those kind of things I wanted to use this Jaclyn Hill palette guys I think Morphe's an Ulta now right and so you can get this palette a little bit more easily than just, you know, ordering from online or if you're like me, you don't really like to order stuff online, you want to swatch it, you can go into your local Ulta if you have an Ulta around you. But this palette is really amazing, guys. I feel like if you're a beginner, you're not going to regret this palette. It has like all the shades that you're going to need pretty much. It has the warm shades and then it has like pops of color. So I feel like if you're a beginner, this is definitely a good staple. As always, you know, you can watch me. I like my MAC 217 brush to using the crease and I want to create like a brown orangey smoky color very full inspired what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I think this one is called butter and so what I did I just got the little insert that came with it and I just taped it on here so I wouldn't lose it I'm just gonna apply this into my crease and I'm gonna buff it out towards my eyebrow so whenever I started my channel I told myself that, okay, Tanya, if you are going to start a YouTube channel, you have to be consistent. And honestly, it's not about the followers or anything like that for me. I just really love makeup and I wanted to share that with y'all. So I didn't want to like post a video and then not post one for like months and months. So I was like, okay, if you're going to do this passion project, I guess is what you could say, post at least once a, once a week. So I was doing pretty good. There were some times where I would take two weeks, but then I would get back on track. But <sighs> lately, you got to know... I already have my bachelor's in architecture and I'm currently in grad school. I'm doing my, or I'm, I'm getting my MBA. I'm working on my MBA. So I'm in the STEM MBA program because I don't know, I thought it'd be a good idea. So it's been really different. You know, all of my undergrad, I've done a lot of design oriented classes. So this, you know, business career that I'm doing now it's very different than what I'm used to so I've been studying a lot been doing a lot of group projects and so I don't know it's just it's been kind of hard to figure that out and then trying to do this still but I've been I, I, I miss doing videos like every week or just creating a look for like Instagram also on my Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram I try to post a, a look on there 
at least once a week too. Sometimes I post a look on there that never goes onto YouTube just because it's so much easier just to sit and do your um, eyeshadow look or look versus setting up your camera, your lighting, and then, you know, editing the video and stuff like that. So it's, that's always faster. So I post more on there. So if you want to see more of my looks or anything like that, follow me on there. And then if you really like a look, be like, hey, you know, can you do tutorial? And I can totally do that for you. And also, sorry, like I'm just out of breath. I'm like, I'm really in a chit chatty mood today. So also, I'm doing like Halloween looks. Well, I've only done one right now. I have another one, but I don't know if, if I really like it to post it. And with Halloween looks, it's a little, this is actually my first year we're doing Halloween looks. So it's, it's very different for me. And I just, I don't feel comfortable filming because I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with the flow. Yeah, I think it'll be just better if you see a picture that I post and then you're like, hey, can you film this for me? Because I already kind of know what steps to do and that won't take as long. And I could do that for you. These shadows are so creamy and they're really, they're not like the best shadows that I've ever tried, honestly. My favorite shadows are the Makeup Geeks. Those they're so like they're so buttery they just blend so easily like if you're a beginner definitely do makeup geek shadows just because you don't have to work hard to blend it just kind of blends by itself i think i'm done with this transition shade for now i might have to go over it later because sometimes the transition shade tends to get lost so now i think i'm just gonna start to deepen up this smoky eye i'm gonna go in with this kind of orangey burnt orange kind of brownish shade what is this one called it's called Roxanne. So yeah, I'm taking a Zoeva Luxe Soft Definer 227 brush. It's similar to the MAC 217. So I'm just going to apply this into the crease right below that transition shade. I'm going to start deepening this up. I'm liking where this is going. With smoky eyes, guys, I feel like people are scared to do them. But honestly, just take your time. Blend every shade that you put on and slowly build it up and you'll be fine. Smoky eyes I feel like are the easiest to do because they're just a smoky eye. Like I feel like everything kind of blends in together at the end, but in a good way. And I want to deepen it, deepening. <laughs> I want to deepen that up a little bit more. So I think I'm going to do this color right next to it. It's uh, like a maroony brick color. And I think this one's called Jax. And that same Zoya brush, I'm just going to kind of build that up. Also, another thing, guys, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I've been breaking out really, really bad. And I think it's just, it's stress, honestly, because I've looked it up in this area. I read that it's just, it's stress. And I've never been so stressed in my life before. I'm just like, this is just a new experience for me. These classes, just, it's different and I've been stressing out about my classes making sure that I get the grade that I want to get and it's just it's it's very different because in architecture my undergrad program I got very comfortable I had a lot of friends you know unfortunately everyone's graduated so everyone kind of went their different ways some people are in grad school here still but since I'm not in the architecture grad school program I never see them or some people have moved off they're working already so it's just it's been a weird time in my life honestly i guess i'm being pushed out of my comfort zone this one looks like it's way higher than this eye so i'm going to go back with that transition shade to kind of even that out so yeah this breaking out situation it's it's stressing me out too i've never really broken out get like a pimple here and there but these pimples like, they'll come and they'll go but then like another one comes and takes its place so it's it's very frustrating and I don't know what to do. I don't, I kind of want to go to a dermatologist and get my skin checked out, but I haven't really looked into it and I'm sure it's pretty expensive, but I really need to because I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, I'm not comfortable with my own skin because I've never dealt with acne like this before. And honestly, it's, it's worse in person. In camera, it doesn't look as bad, but in person it's worse so i'm gonna go back in with that transition shade what did i use like i used butter on my mac 217 and see how this one is like very low compared like to this eye so i'm gonna smoke this out a little okay it's starting to look a little bit more even this is always a process you know back and forth back and forth okay so the same brush is and that's what i love about smoky eyes is that 
you can use the same brush because you're just kind of building on top of everything. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Mocha. It's just a rich mocha color, just pretty much a neutral brown shade, I would say. I'm just gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna do like darker on the inside and outside, kind of like a halo eye, because I do want to apply. I don't know. Should um, hot oh, dang. I should have used this shade today, and I could have matched my my sweatshirt. I think I'm gonna use like these two shades, like the gold and the brown. So I kind of want to leave the center a little bit blank, just so it can the shadow can pop up more. I don't know yet. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. Like I was saying, uh, school has been very stressful, and also the program that I'm I'm in is a one year program, so it goes by really really fast. We I started school August 27th, 29th, something like that, and I'm I'm already done with two classes. So we work in modules and the first half of the semester you do two classes but they're super fast paced and yeah I'm just not used to that. I'm not used to these type of classes and I'm not used to super fast paced so I'm really trying to keep up with these classes. Yeah that's why I feel like I haven't been able to film and I really honestly I really hate excuses. I, I hate when YouTubers are like oh yeah life just got on the way blah blah because yeah, like from, yeah, life gets in the way. Okay, I'm gonna use whatever's left on this brush of that brown and kind of run it through the crease a little bit to give it a little bit more depth. So yeah, yeah, life gets in the way, but I've always made time to do this. I'm like, okay, I know I have a busy schedule, but I'm gonna make sure that I can squeeze in a video or film two in one week. And so that way I can like have a backup one. But I don't know, I just, it's been different. So I'm, I'm hoping I can get better at that. And I'm sorry about that. I really hate excuses. Excuses are like assholes. Everyone has one. I'm gonna go back in with Mocha. Just build it up on the corners. And then I'm gonna apply some on the center just so that the shadow can have a base. And I want to, well, I want this look to have a little bit more red. So I'm gonna get a clean blending brush if I have one, if I have a clean one. I don't know what this one is. It's by Morphe. So I'm just gonna go back in with Jacks, and I'm just gonna run it through the crease to make it a little bit more reddish. And so this is starting to look a little harsh. So in a second, I'll go back and just kind of blend that out. Going back in with Mocha, just gonna bring it in a little bit more towards the center, not completely covering the whole center. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's just cover the whole lid. Whatever. See, it still kind of looks a little halo-ish because I'm not applying so much product on the center. Now let's go in with the. Kezzy. Kezzy. That would be Desi and Katie's relationship name if they were, you know, a hollow good couple. No, I need a flat shader brush. Hold up. Now with this little baby, I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do Noli brown shimmery shade that's very, very pretty. And actually this one, yeah, you don't have to wet this one, so I'm just gonna pack it all over the lid with a flat shader brush. I'll just use this mirror. Why not? And again, this is pretty. So pretty. Look at that. That's pretty. Ooh, I like that. Now, now that I have that brown, I feel like this needs a little bit more red tones. So I'm gonna take this brush, it has no name. It came out in a collection, and I really hate that they don't have any. And I hate that this palette doesn't have a mirror. Palette, uh, mirrors and palettes are so convenient. But I'm just gonna run this through the crease and bring it out a little bit more, like drag it up a little bit more. And then I'm gonna make sure that I'm, it's coming out and dragging it out here. Now back in with the uh, butter, that first light transition shade, and I'm just gonna buff out those edges. Ooh, it kind of brought my eyeshadow too far out, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to be using dramatic lashes, so I feel like it doesn't really matter that I dragged out my eyeshadow so far up, but if you don't like that look, then just keep it a little bit lower. But what I'm gonna do is kind of fake a larger eyelid, so I'm gonna go back in with Noli from that Desi and Katie palette, and I'm just gonna take it up a little bit higher. I'm just gonna create like an illusion that my eyelid starts way up here instead of where it actually does. By the way, these shadows don't have a lot of fallout, so if you wanna start your foundation before, you totally can. And I'm gonna blend that with this unknown Morphe brush. It's so annoying. Let's blend out these edges again because we can never blend enough. And I didn't even put any product on here. I'm just, whatever's left on there, I'm just gonna blend that. And then, you know what? Something that I recently found out is if you kind of go like this, 
it makes it easier to blend out stuff. I don't know why. Guys, this shadow, though, it went hella high. Oh well, we're going with it. We're rolling with it. I usually don't do it this high, but today I'll just, I don't know, got a little carried away. Now on the center of the lid, I'm gonna use Suze. And they do recommend to wet this shadow, so I'm gonna use my finger because I feel like these shadows are just easier to apply with your finger. And I'm gonna do my pinky, so I'm gonna wet it with some Fix Plus. Okay, pop that down. And oh, I've got a lot, a lot of pigment. I'm just gonna apply this to the center of the lid. That's beautiful. Now I'm gonna take the brush that I applied, like those reds and the browns, and I'm going to kind of buff that out. Beautiful. So I'm just gonna smoke out the bottom lash line, and I'm gonna use the darkest shade that I used for this look, which was Mocha on the pencil brush. And I'm just gonna run that through the bottom lash line. I'm gonna go in with Jax on that same pencil brush. And right underneath Mocha, I'm just gonna smoke this out a little bit. Y'all, I used to watch YouTube videos like crazy. I would watch at least 10 videos a day. That's how crazy I am about YouTube. But lately I haven't been, so I don't even know like what's what's in. What makeup brands have what? Like, what are y'all liking? What's I don't know what's going on in the YouTube world anymore. So please keep me informed. I'm gonna go back in with this Zoeva brush that I used for up here. See, I feel like I'm so out of the loop with like makeup trends and stuff like that. Do y'all feel like y'all ever get like little eye boogers when you're doing your eyeshadow? I feel like I always get eye boogers when I do eyeshadow. So now, with the first shade, Butter, I'm gonna go right underneath all of these shades. And honestly, these brushes are a little bit too big to be working down here, but I like my lash line really smoky. But if you don't, use a smaller blending brush. Now, I already have mascara on. I don't know why, but some for some reason, I knew it was in a film, but I was like, I'm gonna put mascara on right now. I don't know why. But I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Slash Paradise. You guys, I don't like it. I feel kind of bad because my friend was like, oh, it's a good mascara, and everyone was talking about this one, so I was like, oh, try this one. But I don't like it, and I feel like I have a really, really hard time taking it off, and I've tried it on oil, and I've just tried my make regular makeup remover that I always use, and it doesn't, doesn't take it off, so I don't like it. I don't recommend this mascara if you were wanting to buy it because you know everyone and their mama is using it so yeah or wait are they still using it was this just like a little trend and then i don't i don't even know do people are people still raving about this i don't know so for the waterline i'm just gonna go in with this physician's formula warm nude eyes it's like a bronzy uh, little waterline pencil so i'm gonna apply this right here and for the lashes I'm gonna be using these Kiss Lashes. I think they're the style name the Duo. Duo. I don't know how you say that. They're kind of like wispy and they have a lot of volume. So a little trick, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but the, the number one rule for lashes is to apply them with equal tacky glue. And by that, I mean like put some glue somewhere and let it get tacky for a couple of minutes and then apply the glue to your lashes. So right now I have it on my Laura Mercier powder. And it's been here for like a minute now and I know it's not the most sanitary thing, but if you're doing no makeup on yourself, it doesn't matter, okay? So if I get eye infection in my eye, it's my eye, I did it, my problem, okay? Don't, don't judge me. Then I get my tweezers and I kind of do that, right? I put some on my tweezers. And then I apply it to the lash, so like this. And I feel like it's not tacky because I usually let my glue chill for a couple of minutes, like five minutes. So I'm just gonna set this lash aside because I know this is going to slip and slide everywhere. But I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue on my other lash. Okay, I think this glue is done getting tacky. So I'm just going to apply this to my lash line. And I like to get my mirror, pull it down, And sometimes this happens and it's okay. Oh, that's on the high, I think. There you go. Easy peasy. Now that my lashes are on, I feel like it's I'm really top heavy, so I'm gonna go in with more shadow on the bottom lash line to just smoke that out a little bit more and it kind of evens everything out. So I'm just gonna do mocha again. Why do I look so white? 
Why? Why do I look so white? Why? Why do I look so white? Why? Okay. I literally don't know why my camera makes me look so white. I don't know what this is. Also, guys, I don't know. I think I mentioned it mentioned it in my Fenty video review is that I moved houses so well, I used to live in an apartment and then I moved to a house so that's why I have like a whole different setup and stuff and yeah whenever I like, film in front of my gray background that's back at my parents house so yeah I'm at my parents house I'm in my uh, university town I really love my house though guys I love my new roommates and I love the area where I live it is I love it. I really miss my apartment just because, I don't know, it's a little bit more chic and more modern. And this one, this house is like 1940s. So it needs a lot of updates, but I really, really like it. And I'm, I'm happier here, I feel like. There it goes. We're getting somewhere. Now back with Roxanne, right? Or Jax? Let me do Jax. Okay, and then back with that blending brush. Where did it go? Guys, half of my videos uh, edited out, of course, but half of it, it's like just looking for stuff. Now I'm going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to be using the Dose of Colors Dizzy Times Katie highlight in Fuego. It's going to apply some to my inner corner with this little Rainbow Decay brush that I got with an eyeshadow palette. Um, my lash curl. My lash curl. Where's my lash curl? I'm just going to curl these bad boys together. Better, much better. Do you remember the Amanda show? Did it say that? I don't remember what skit it was, but it was like always oh, better, much better. Okay, and I'm thinking of a dark lip. I think I'm gonna do like a chocolate brown, cause I don't know, be like a chocolate brown mood. So let me go find one. I'm going to use this Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain in the shade 26. It's just a pretty chocolate brown. I like that. I think I've used this before in my channel. Okay, and there's the lips. I like it. Now I'm gonna fix plus myself. Just drench, drench myself in this. This is my favorite part. Make sure you get every little bit. So yeah, this is the finished look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you like these chit chatty get ready with me videos and you can know me a little bit more. I can do more if you want me to. I don't really like to talk about myself, but if y'all like that and you want me to talk about something or a certain topic, I can. And you can watch me get ready and talk about that topic. If not, just let me know. If you don't like these kinds of videos, just let me know because I want to post stuff that y'all want to see because of course, yes, I do this more as a passion project. You know, if you subscribe to my channel, that means I like something that I put out. So if you like more reviews, you like more tutorials, then please let me know. And when I say that, honestly, please comment down below because I like to hear your opinions or what you have to say. And I hope that you learned something new today. Honestly, guys, these looks are really easy. These smoky eye look, y'all saw me. I was just blending, just blend, 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 blend until your arm is sore and tired. Honestly, look like I have muscles because of how much I blend. Just kidding. It's a joke. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see any more fall looks, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, like this video, and subscribe on the way out if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.